Josie's Lost Tooth by Jennifer K. Mann. This picture shows Josie with a friend sitting at a table looking at a book with a shark and a squid in the picture. Josie was the monkey bars champion of her class. She was the first one to read a whole book by herself, and she was almost the fastest runner at recess. The pictures on these pages show Josie hanging upside down from the monkey bars by her knees. There's also a picture of Josie with her friend sitting at a table reading books. And a third picture shows Josie running with a friend at recess. But Josie was the only one in her class who hadn't lost a tooth. Not a single one. This picture shows her class pictures and there's an individual box with each student in her class with a big smile and missing teeth. But Josie's not smiling. When Richard lost his first tooth, he showed Josie the coin he got from the tooth fairy. She sneaks into your room when you're asleep and takes your tooth? Josie asked. Yup, said Richard, and she gives you money for it. The picture shows Josie and her friend Richard sitting at a table. Richard is showing her the coin that he got from the tooth fairy. And Josie is imagining what it would be like to sleep in her bed with a tooth fairy floating into her room and reaching under her pillow. Josie checked for a loose tooth every night, but nothing ever moved, not even a bit. This picture shows Josie laying on the couch at her house with a hand mirror in front of her face, wiggling each tooth to see if she had a wiggly one. I lost a tooth at breakfast, Richard said one morning. I brought it in with my shark tooth for show and tell. Shark's teeth fall out when they chomp into boats and giant squids. I wish I could chomp into a squid, said Josie. Here's a picture of Josie and Richard sitting at the table. Richard is showing Josie a picture of his tooth compared to a shark's tooth. And Josie has a sad look on her face and imagining herself swimming in the ocean and biting into a giant squid. That night, when Josie checked her teeth, she felt one move, just a little. Finally, a loose tooth. She couldn't wait to show Richard. This picture shows Josie standing in her bathroom at the sink, looking in the mirror, finding her loose tooth. Look, said Josie at school the next morning. I have a loose tooth. I'm going to hang upside down until it falls out. Cool, said Richard. Can I have a turn when you're done? But when the bell rang a few minutes later, Josie's tooth was still attached. This picture shows Josie hanging upside down in the middle of the monkey bars, waiting for her tooth to fall out. But her friends want to take a turn on the monkey bars too. At lunch, Josie saved her apple for last. My tooth is going to come out when I chomp into this apple, like when a shark chomps on a squid, she said. Chomp. Your tooth is still there, Josie, said Richard. Want to try my carrot sticks instead? But those didn't work either. The picture showed Josie taking a big bite of her green apple. And then her tooth was still there. So Richard is offering a bag of his carrots. When Josie found Richard at recess, she said, watch this. I'm going to pull my tooth out with a string. 
This picture shows several students at recess. Some are hula hooping or running, and Josie is standing with a string tied around her loose tooth. She's getting ready to pull it. Did it work? She asked. Richard looked inside Josie's mouth. Still there, he said. This picture shows Richard and another friend hula hooping talking to Josie, whose tooth is still in her mouth. Josie wondered if she would ever get a coin from the tooth fairy. What if she had baby teeth for the rest of her life? Just then, Richard ran by. Want to play sharks? he asked. All right, said Josie. I'll be the shark. This picture shows Josie sitting sadly on a swing, and then Richard runs by with a big smile, asking to play. But when Josie was about to catch up with Richard, the picture shows Josie almost reaching Richard running through the grass. She tripped. Splat! This picture shows a big word splat across the screen, and Josie tripped in the grass, so she's laying on her stomach with her arm stretched out in front and her little tooth flying out of her mouth. Josie felt around in her mouth with her tongue. Her tooth was gone! Oh no, she gasped. My tooth! Richard helped her look for it, but Josie's tooth was nowhere to be found. Maybe you swallowed it, he said. This picture shows Josie and Richard on their hands and knees in the grass looking for Josie's tooth. While Josie was in the nurse's office, Richard tried to cheer her up. At least you finally lost a tooth, he said. I didn't want to lose it, though, said Josie. Now what will I leave for the tooth fairy? You could try leaving my shark tooth, Richard offered. This picture shows Josie and Richard sitting on a bed in the nurse's office. Richard is holding out his hand with his shark's tooth in it, offering it to Josie. That night, Josie held the shark tooth up to her gap. It made her look pretty sharky, but it wasn't her own tooth. She decided to leave a note for the Tooth Fairy under her pillow with the shark tooth. Dear Tooth Fairy, I lost a tooth today, but I can't find it. My friend Richard said I could leave his shark tooth for you instead. I'm the last one in my class to lose a tooth, so please still leave me a coin. Love, Josie. The picture shows Josie standing in the bathroom mirror again, holding the shark's tooth in her mouth. There's also a large picture of the note she left for the Tooth Fairy. When Josie checked under her pillow in the morning, there was a note from the Tooth Fairy and something else. She couldn't wait to show Richard. You got a shark tooth necklace? asked Richard. Yup, said Josie, and she left one for you, too. Cool, said Richard. Want to play sharks? This picture shows Josie holding up the note from the tooth fairy and a shark's tooth necklace for Richard. He has a very big smile on his face. So does Josie, and she is wearing her shark's tooth necklace. Okay, said Josie, you can be the shark and I'll be the squid. This picture shows Richard chasing Josie this time with the word chomp across the page. The last page of the book shows a picture of Richard and Josie standing together, both wearing their shark's tooth necklace, with a copy of the note from the tooth fairy that says, Dear Josie, I know that you did lose a tooth, and I'm sorry that it got lost. Here is a shark tooth necklace for you, 
and one for your friend Richard, too. Love the Tooth Fairy.